Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the ESP32 S3 JTAG debug. So, in previous video, we already discussed about the ESP32 C3, ah, C3 JTAG debug. Now it's time for the S3. So, what's the difference uh, between the two chips? Okay, so let's take a look. First, uh, let's take a look our hardware. So this is our hardware 30. Okay, so we need to connect the USB cable to our uh, JTAG port. USB JTAG port is not the uh, normal USB share port. Uh, it's not this one. It's this one. Okay. So uh, this is uh, uh, ESP32 S3 uh, module, okay? So this is hardware. So next, let's take a look at the software. Uh, for the software, uh, we will use uh, version 5.1.2 SDK. So you can use the uh, old version like uh, 5.0, 4.4, uh, okay? So we need to find one uh, software example code for our JTAG debug. We will find the code inside the examples. Get start. Uh, we will use the Blink example to uh, debug for our JTAG debug. We copy this code, copy this folder, into our micro folder. Into our micro folder. I already copied to here. Okay. So next, we need to set up the tanky. Okay. So we open our compile environment, which is here. We already discussed about how to set up the compile environment. Okay, command line compile environment. Okay, so we uh, go into our folder, micro folder, and blink folder. And the first thing is we need to set our tuggy. Okay, ESP thirty two S three and press enter so it will set the target. So I already set it uh, so I don't need to do it again. Okay. So next step we need to change a little bit the call. And we go into our folder and the main folder and we open the blink Example made C file. So here uh, I use uh, Visual Studio Code to open it. So you can use any editor to open the source, uh, source code. Okay. So first things I remove this config blink GPIO and set it directly use this number. 21 because in our ball for our M4 ball, this is the LED GPIO. Okay, and the next I remove other call and just uh, uh, leave this blink LED and config LED. Okay, so we leave these two function and app main. Okay, so this is the whole code. So I already remove other code. Okay, so this is uh, changes for the software. Okay, so we make it as simple as possible. Okay, so just uh, blink LED, config LED, and app make three function. Okay, so next. We need to build it. Ah, we build it. 
we use the IDF PY and build so, and uh, press enter it will build the code okay just a moment okay um it's begin to build it I post the video uh, where it finishes the building. Okay, so uh, now it finished the building, and the, so next step we fresh it into our ball. Fresh it into our ball. Just a moment, okay? It's fresh. Okay, done. And the next, we need to run the open OCD. Uh, we need to run it, run the open OCD for the GDB connect. So we open our command line compile environment again. So this is our uh, command line compile environment. Okay, and we will run the open OCD command like this. Okay, so this is open OCD. Uh, this is a uh, uh, config, uh, config file here. And it is a uh, notice one thing, this is S3. In previous video, we use C3 here, okay? And then we press enter, we press enter. Okay, so you will, uh, you will take a look, uh, notice here, T notice here, and this is listening on port 3333 for GDB connections. So it means uh, OpenOCD is running and waiting for the GDB connect, okay? So next, we will run the GDB uh, in our example code folder, uh, which is here, which is here. So we will run the uh, GDB command like this. Okay. So this is our GDB command, okay. This is special for uh, 32S3. Uh, this GDB is special for 32S3. In previous video, we used the C3 version GDB, okay? And this is the ELF uh, file. And this is the input parameter GDB initial file. So where it is? We need to create the file into our Blink folder. It is here. We create the GDBINIT file and the no uh, extension, no the txt, something like this. Just GDBINIT. And we can use, uh, uh, we can use uh, Visual Studio Code to open it. So it is here and I use this Visual Studio Code to open it. So uh, it has a parameter for the GDB, uh, input parameter for the GDB tool. It is setting like this. Uh, we already discussed every parameter in previous video. So uh, we, we, uh, we will not uh, talk it up again here, okay? So this is all the input parameter for the GDB initial, okay? Okay, so next, uh, we will press enter, uh, press enter here. Uh, it's run the GDB to connect the open OCD. Uh, so it's 
so it will read the symbols from the ELF file. Okay. Here, we just press enter. Okay. So now it will stop at the uh, config LED. Uh, it's the main C file uh, 45 line. So let's take a look at the code. It is 45, it's here, okay, it stop here. So uh, when it shows these things, it means uh, we already stop at the breakpoint at the app main function, okay. It means our GDB c uh, connect our open OCD successfully, okay. So next we can use the GDB command to debug our code. Uh, so for example, it's next, so it will run the next call, and it will turn turning the LED, uh, LED status running at this line of forty A, and so let's take a look. It is here forty A. Okay, so it uh, we can happily use the GDB command to debug our code. So ah. Uh, this is uh, this is how to use ESP32 S3 to debug uh, to do the JTAG debug. Okay, okay. So this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.